Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines. I am here to talk to you about one of the biggest things everyone should know in their menu when they're about to use the Fuji X-T3, X-T30, X-T20, or the X-T2 for flash. Stay tuned. Hey YouTubers, uh, I think everyone will tell you that one of the big advantages of a mirrorless camera is that you're you have the ability to see within your screen the exposure that you are going to get when you shoot. Now, this is an advantage when shooting with natural light or shooting wherever you are, but as soon as you start going into a flash studio setting, that image preview can be a huge disadvantage. Now, what happens is, is that when you do flash, you adjust your settings for when the flash pops off. Because you adjust your settings for when the flash pops off, what the camera does is to preview the exposure, it looks at the light within the lens and it sees that all the aperture, shutter speed and ISO settings are way too dark. So it shows you and previews you a dark image. When you are shooting flash and you do your settings for the flash, you can literally have a completely dark image. There's one small setting you guys have to do to make sure that you don't get this. So what you're trying to do is make sure that the camera is bright and that the EVF is going to show you a bright image. Basically compensate and, and let you see what you're about to take a picture of. So all you got to do is do this one little setting. Right now you're in your main, main screen. You go in, You press your menu button. You go up to the wrench here. And then after that, you go into screen setup, which is right here. Press screen setup. Now you go down, you go past auto rotate displays. And the next button right there is preview exposure white balance in manual mode. Now you go into this, you can decide whether you want it off or on right in this menu right here. And uh, you can have it like this. So if I do it like this, Let's say I bring my, my shutter, for example, I put my F to F, uh, let's say 10. Notice how the brightness stays the same on the camera. It doesn't change. It doesn't switch. Uh, so when you're shooting flash, you get to see your subject and where you're about to shoot and your focus point. So it's kind of a bonus to have that. So you'll want to be switching that for flash. And when you go and do natural light, you want to go back in the menu, same thing, go into the wrench, go to screen setup and go down here past auto rotate displays. And you put that, I put it on exposure and white balance. Now you can see at F10, it's showing me and previewing what my image will look like. Now this is what it'll look like if you don't have a flash, but if you do have a flash, it'll change. Let me show you where I have assigned my, my button for that. The function button on the top, right next to the shutter speed dial right here. I, you, if you press that function button on my camera, it's preview white balance in manual mode. When I press it again, it goes to off. When I press it, it goes to on. Therefore, I am always in on when I'm shooting natural light. I press the button and when I'm in flash, I leave it there no matter what I do with my screen here. Whether I go to F10, F9, F11, the brightness stays the same. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Now, again, I'll, I keep on saying, I cannot emphasize this more. Make sure that you guys go into your My Menu settings and put that somewhere into your My Menu so that you can get to it quick. Because you're going to want to get to that quick, especially if you're switching from flash to natural light. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, this is a full series and you can check my playlist. I'll leave the link below. Do not forget, keep on making something from nothing.